Hi, I'm Joe White, co-founder of Ashland Community Theater. I'm here with my new co-host, Katie Shander Reynolds. Hello. Thank you. Welcome to Behind the Curtain. Just in case you're wondering, Kelly Fay, who was my co-host for the first seven episodes, unfortunately can't uh, commit to coming to Ashland back and forth from her uh, work in Cambridge and Watertown. So, but she will be still directing our fall and, and spring shows that we're going to be having in Ashland Community Theater at the middle school. But Katie, welcome. Thanks so much for agreeing to be my co-host. Well, thanks for asking. You're welcome. It's such a pleasure to have you. And uh, what, uh, what did you do this summer? Oh my gosh. Well... We've been doing a lot this summer, surprisingly enough, because uh, you were going to take the summer off. I was. I was yeah. planning on taking the summer off after the spring show. That yeah. was my plan. Why yeah. did that not happen? Well, because I kind of wouldn't let you. <laughs> Can you explain a little bit more about yeah, that? Yeah, sure. I'd love to explain a little bit more about that, because I think our audience needs to know that there's something important coming up for them. There is. There is. There is something very yes. important. Yes. You mean the thing that Ashland Community Theater collaborated with WACA-TV. And had so much fun on. It, do you, are you talking about the miniseries? I am, in fact, you talking mean about the miniseries. The interns you're talking yes, about. That That's what you're one. talking about? That's the one. That's the thing Let's you dragged me out of, uh, out of my summer hiatus? I know, I know. How did you do Ruined that? How did you, drag, how did you drag me out of my summer hiatus by doing that? I, it was pretty tough. I think I said, Joe, what are we doing this summer? And you said, I'm taking the summer off. And I said, no, you're not. And you said, oh, OK. <laughs> That's what I remember. It's, it's something like that, right? Mm -hmm. So this this show here, that this mini series here, what what is it about? Uh, it's a four part mini series about college interns working at a very strange news station. Very strange news station. Mm -hmm. Now the original concept was going to be somebody came up with a really bad idea about a toothpick factory. <laughs> Actually, it was a great idea. It was not a good we had idea. Some very very toothpick stuff factory going on there. A toothpick it would have been factory. very funny. Really? Yes. Then why didn't you write that? Because we realized that a toothpick factory would be very, very difficult to replicate. And not funny. And oh, it would have been funny. Oh, no. Trust. Give me, give me one example of why that would have been Trust funny. Me. Why would that have been funny? Oh, I'm not even gonna. You can't even come up with a funny idea. No, you're gifts. You're saving that. What is that next year's? Uh, yeah, that'll be that'll be season two. In, interns interns to in go to toothpick factory. factory. Well, yeah. well, let's see. But, okay, you, I'm sorry to interrupt. That's what I'm going to do the whole time. So you still want to be my co-host? Well, we'll see. I'll make it through one episode, hopefully. Okay. So more about the show? Give me, give me some... Yeah, so my son, Aiden, uh, who has been very sad that he couldn't be more involved in our fall and spring theater shows, uh, had said to me one day, we need to do something this summer. You guys need to do something in the summer so I can be a part of it. And I said, oh, that'd be fun. And so that's where the whole... Mm -hmm. That's how it all started. Thing came so how do up we, and... So we started writing this thing. We started writing this... Yeah, so we started writing this thing, and it was ridiculously fun. And we did some casting calls, and Aiden and his friend Connor were mm -hmm. already signed up, but yep. we needed some young ladies, and the young ladies that we had hoped to have weren't available. So we had that casting call and yeah. ended up with these fantastic... Actors and actresses, actresses, yeah. actresses. I guess everybody's an actor now. Yeah. Fantastic actors to play the young interns, all four of now them. The, the only thing I didn't like about them, well, I'll be honest, they made us are look we bad. still filming? They did. They did. They, they made us look, us look yeah. real bad. I mean, That's seriously, okay, though. they were great. They were. They were great. I'm telling you, I don't know if I could ever act again. Well, I will, but <laughs> but seriously, so, they yeah, were great. They were phenomenal. It was really fun watching them and working with them and seeing what they did with the characters and. Uh, yeah, and it was fun having all of our gang together and, and people coming in and doing their little cameos and their yep. their one-day shoots, and it was the whole experience was just a blast. Absolutely. It's An a completely blast. different uh, medium to try to do film yeah. and TV yeah. than it is theater. Uh, it's completely different. Uh, it's fun. It is. It's sometimes painful to wait and wait and wait while you're waiting for your scene, mm -hmm. but you have the luxury of being able to make a mistake and doing it again. Yes. Sometimes and making the same mistake. Six times. Hey, I hey, that was only one <laughs> scene we did. It was twenty-six times. Yeah, but yeah. we did so, pretty well. So who else is in this thing? We have we have Connor Donovan, you mentioned. Yeah, we have huh? Aiden Shander Reynolds Correct. Uh, playing the boys. Mm -hmm. Brittany Krasner. Brittany Krasner and Rose, and Rose Shannon. Shannon playing the girls. Mm -hmm. uh, who else uh, is in it from and the, then who are the, we who are the had, crazy bosses? Uh, well let's let's see, there was you. Oh yes. And myself. Yes. And then we had Connor Plunkett. Oh my goodness, yes. Who did a great job. And we had Heidi Hansen. Yeah. Mauro Ciccarelli. Yes. And of Jody. course, Jody Martin. Jody Martin. 
And then we had a lot of people sort of pop in and do little, little bits here and there. Christiana Greaves did mm. a great job. Yep. And uh, her mom, Yolanda Greaves. I don't think we cut her out. She's fun. not in it. Oh, oh really? Yeah, she's done. Should we just she's not done. say Shh. that on air? Then? No, we won't say that. Yeah. And then I actually got my husband in on a scene. You got your yeah. husband well, in a scene. Well, Who? Was Wait, was that? Who? That was definitely your Who? doing. Okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah. She takes all the credit. Yeah. I mean, like, she thought about it. She wrote it. She did. Oh, that was... It was great. Actually, it was fun working with you because... Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad No, it was. So it was fun. Now it was. During the time, it wasn't <laughs> that much fun, you know. But no, it was... Uh, okay, back to the writing part. How did yeah. you think that worked? Oh, my gosh. How did that work? Uh, well, it was great because I think you and I think similarly. We have similar senses of humor. So it was nice because we sort of came up with the framework of the first episode. Mm -hmm. And we sat together and just sort of riffed on, oh, this could mm -hmm. happen and then that could happen and maybe this person could say this and... We kind of got it all together, and I think you put the first episode down on paper, and then I edited mm. it. Yeah, you're a very good editor. I am a good editor. Edited editor. I am. That's Thank the word. Thank God, because yes. you need that. Hey. And then it was fun because it was nice. We, uh, I think we work really well together. I we, think so we too. We sort yeah. of decided in advance. Okay, I'll write this part. You know, these parts of the yep. episode, and you'll write those parts, and then we'll see how they fit together, and we'll tweak here and there, and. Um, I don't know. I, I thought it worked pretty. Who's your smoothly. favorite character to write for? Ooh. Ooh. So it was really fun writing for Jody's character because she was so outrageous, <laughs> um, and it was fun. I mean, I thought all of the interns were yep. fun to write because you know they were these young, smart kids who we were trying to write kind of hip, and then the kids would be like, mm -hmm. "Oh, that is so not hip. Let's <laughs> fix that." Uh, it was a little bit humbling, but. Uh, I, I thought all I thought all the characters were fun and different. They were all ways. good to write for. I think yeah. they were they were equally fun. Yeah, uh, it was nice li nice seeing the, the 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 show come to life. Oh, it was. And it I've was been so watching cool. some previews and stuff. So the interns will be airing in late August, early September on WACA TV. We're actually going to have a premiere on August the twentieth. Right now, it's scheduled to be at WACA TV for all of the cast. We're going to have a little red carpet. So. Uh, be Maybe on Miles the will film that. that and put that up for some. He reason. may. I think he may. We have to talk about Miles now, though. Can Who? we talk about Miles? You mean the, the guy that was with the camera following us all around, that videotaping guy, that the guy. stuff? Genius. He's a genius. Miles. He's absolutely great. This, I mean, this show, I think the show's going to be good. I'm a little oh, yeah. bit nervous. Yeah. I think. I think. I know. I'm going to think it's good. I'm hoping yes. that other people are also going to they think will. it's good. And if anybody thinks this show is at all good, it's because of Miles. Yep. The way he put it together, I think the vision yeah. we had in our mind. The way he took the camera and made it happen, I think you really so, enjoy yeah, some of the really, graphics in there. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's magical, like yeah. what he does with our 19 takes, and then he puts it all together, and it looks like just one smooth one thing. smooth scene, yeah. one smooth yeah, scene. That's awesome. But today, what we have today? Who do we have today? today? What are so we doing today? Today, today we're going to be talking about a scene from our spring show. Correct? This was our spring show. Yep. Feels like so long. Parents' ago Day. Yeah, it was Parents', Parents Day. Day. Yep. Yes, and this was a scene written by Joe that took place largely in an elevator. Um, and I was in the scene with Holly Escott and Alexa Fazidis, and they are both here today to talk about this scene where we played three generations of women mm -hmm. on, I believe it was Christmas Eve. Yeah. Getting ready for Christmas. And the scene is called Trapped in Consequences. So why don't you guys sit back, relax, and watch that, and when you come back, we're going to have Holly Escott and Alexa Fazidis here as well with Katie to talk about that scene. Thank you so much. Enjoy. What's taking you so long? I can't find it. I know it's here. I put it here last year after the holiday. You dad packed them, and I brought them down. Gramps, are you sure? You said the cup of pickles in the refrigerator, and I found them in the oven. Yes, Madison. These are not pickles, my dear. These are your grandfather's favorite decorations, and I know they are here somewhere. Mom, you know Dad doesn't really care about the silly decorations. Oh, he says he doesn't, but I know he does. He'll say forget it, and then he'll ask for them. And if I can't find them, he'll get sad. Okay. Grandma, are you sure? What box is it in? Is it in a red box? Oh, yes, it is a bright red box. And does it have a green cover? Yes, it does have a green cover. And you said you marked it, Mike's favorite decoration. Yes, I wrote on it, Mike's favorite decoration. 
course it is. Mom, seriously, do you ever turn that thing on? We got you that phone so we can be sure you and Dad are okay. I am okay. I don't need to have a cell phone stuck to me 24 hours a day. <laughs> really? How do you survive? <laughs> are you okay, my dear? L O L. Thank you. 
a quarter. Romeo Drive. That's not right. It was 726 and a half. And I only did that because you knew I wanted to spend the night at my friend's house, but you made me stay home because you and Dad were leaving the next day on a trip at the crack of dawn, and I had to be there to say goodbye. So I figured I'd just leave. How oh, lame. Mom, you are a rebel. What else can you tell me, Rams? Oh, she was the greatest kid. <coughs> always helped me with dinner. Oh, I loved the times. You helped me bake and make dinner for the boys. You always let me lick the spoon when we made a cake. Mm -hmm. And you know what? You always let me have the best piece of fish or meat, even if Dad wanted it. How sweet. Your mom is sweet. My mom? Really? It may seem like she's a bit overprotective, and it seems like she never lets you do what you want. Wow, you do know her. <laughs> that is going to be nice. Now, you both listen to me and enjoy these times. They go way too fast. It seems like just a month ago that I was wrapping up Dolly Do-Right. Dolly Do-Right? Oh, the doll your mom had to have when she was sick. And now, I can't figure out where my cell phone is. It's in the bedroom, <laughs> in case of emergency. <laughs> really, Mom, though, I remember all those times, too. Those are great memories. You know what? You were and are the best mother. You have always, always been there for me. I'm going to cry. Stop it, me too. Oh, please don't cry. Just enjoy the times. Promise me you will. Stop rushing around and don't let life pass you by. Because life is to be lived in the moment. Well, I am enjoying this moment. So, Madison, what did you make Mark for Christmas? You'll think it's stupid and lot. No, I won't. I, I promise. I really want to know. All right. Well. You know how he's in a band and plays guitar? Yes. I made him a new guitar strap. Oh, that's wonderful, honey. I thought the blue silk would look really cool on the stage. The blue silk would... Wait a minute. Are we talking about that $150 blouse you had to have? Maybe. <laughs> oh, my dear. That sounds so sweet. Just like Hurley who I believe was made out of some very expensive pillows that we had just bought the year before, and you decided that they were the softest thing to the snowman out there. <clears throat> I'm sure Mark will love the guitar strap, honey. Thanks, Mom. I can give it to him tomorrow. I'll go with you and Aunt Linda's. Can't wait to hear about anyone with math skills. Ooh, I hear she scored 20 points against the varsity. Ooh, can't wait to hear about every point she made. Oh, you guys are bad. Luckily, I just pretend I can't hear. There are benefits to being old. So why, Mom? Yeah, I know. It's pretty cool. Any other two that you can share? Oh, time. Hello. Is anyone down there? Yes, we're stuck. Mr. Nelson, is that you? Behind the curtain, I'm here with a cast of Trapped in Consequences, Alexa Fazitas, Katie Shanda Reynolds, and Holly Escott. Thanks so much for coming down. You're welcome. 
Now, we just watched the scene. What did you guys think of yourselves after watching it for, when was the last, when did we do that, in May? Yes, that was May. Just May, so this is August, it's almost August now. How does it feel watching it again? What did you guys think? Um, it was a good scene overall. I mean, of course, I'm going to judge my own performance. Which, which was? Could have been better. Oh, come on. It was no, great. it could not. You everyone, were awesome. Everyone critiques their own performances exactly. harshly. I know. So don't, don't worry. I thought you were fantastic in it. Thank you. Holly, I watched you watching it. It was, it was, I, was, I enjoyed watching you watch it. I, I, it was all, I've heard people say this, but it was as if I were watching somebody else. It was as if I, it wasn't us. Mm -hmm. and it was fun to watch as a scene. So that, that's nice. I mean, I think that says a lot about the scene. What do you think, Katie? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I have to say, seeing it for the first time on film, I was most struck by how Amazonian I looked compared to these two ladies. <laughs> I don't think of myself as... You don't get that often. Large. Do you? No, I'm usually one of the smaller people around. But yeah, they made me look very large. Really? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Which was interesting. But I did. I will. I just love the scene. And I remember when you first showed me the script, and I was like, "Ooh, I want that part." Like, <laughs> I just love the scene. It's so well written. It's so well thought out, and uh, the characters are really. You know, the dynamic between the characters is really good, and it's just it's a really nicely put together scene. And it was really fun, I thought, to see it all put together, because I haven't seen it, I mean, other than... Yeah. I didn't you know. expect it to be that sort of exciting and, and full of energy. And yeah. Energy was. Yeah. Very nice. And your voice? You were very sick that day, and yes, you had I, no voice for a while. And you were very worried. And, and bronchitis. Yeah. Yeah. But it came and, out really well. You I mean, could hear, yeah. 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 So that was, that was good to see. Was I remember when I wrote that. Uh, I, I wrote that in a, probably about a two or three hour window. And it really didn't change significantly. I know we go through a, an evolution and we add some things along the way, but uh, I, I, I did have the three of you in mind when I wrote it. I worked with you all before, so when I was writing this, I'm like, this is something I want to get, the story that I want. I had each of you in mind. I think you guys made me very happy in what you guys did, performing it the way you did, putting it on stage is exactly Actually, it was better than what I had hoped, so I want to thank each of you for that. That was great to see you well, do that. You're welcome. It was truly a pleasure to do it. It was so much fun. Yeah. All our crazy rehearsals where we would have, <laughs> Alexa would come to my house, and we and would put call me Polly on the speaker phone, <laughs> and we would sit in my the dining room with the dogs barking, barking, barking and mauling Alexa. And, yeah. Those dogs were crazy. They are a little crazy. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> what was the... Uh, your favorite line to say in your scene? Or did you have one? You might not have had one. What was your favorite line to say? Oh dear. I, I have my favorite for each of you, but I don't know if you have a favorite. Oh, no. I won't tell you what mine is until you tell me yours. You have to tell me yours first, Holly. Favorite line to say? L O L. <laughs> <laughs> that was an ad lib. That was an ad lib. We didn't write that one. So I didn't like that. Well, the one that I wrote. No. My favorite line for you was. Ain't getting nothing yeah. for Christmas. Yeah, okay. You get it? Nothing. <laughs> what about you? What was your favorite line to say? Ooh, I liked saying, I, I liked all the lines where I was sort of berating my daughter because it reminded me of berating my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> sure, she so it was, just, it was nice to, to read those lines and think, oh, I'm not the only parent who says these things or thinks these things, so that was nice. But I also liked when, uh, when Alexa went storming mm -hmm. off and my mother mm -hmm. was, was saying how familiar that all sounded, and I said, well, I was never that disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> that I thought that was funny. That was a good line. Um, I just liked all of the lines that involved like sassing or mouthing off to my mom, because I would never do that in real life. No. Of course. Never. I'm a saint. No. But um, <laughs> I just thought it was fun to do. And it, yeah. was, it yeah. was fun to yell. You were very, <laughs> very good at it. I was yeah. really good at it. I was kind of surprised. It was interesting because when I spoke to your mom and I was saying how wonderful you were and how well you handled all of that sass, and she said, yeah, it was really very good acting because she never does that. And she was genuinely was telling serious. me, yep. my daughter never does that. And I said, well, can we switch? <laughs> <laughs> just for a, like a weekend. Just a weekend. <laughs> just, a, just give it a try. See how that well worked out. My favorite line for you to say was um, when you were saying, I don't need a cell phone attached to my hand yeah. every single day. And you looked back and how do you survive? <laughs> But, uh, so, as 
characters in, in the show. Uh, what did you take away from that? I mean, I don't know your methodology when you take a role and when you look at it. What do you think that character would be doing today? If you were, if I was to write something else, like you got out of the elevator, what, how are you different from being in that elevator with your grandma and grandpa, uh, grandma and grandpa, I'm sorry, <laughs> grandma and mother? So, I looked at you quickly. Um, I think that Madison mm -hmm. would be probably hanging out with her boyfriend right now. Cause would she, she still be with so... Mark? Probably. Oh my gosh, after that killer gift she made no. for him. Does he still no. wear the guitar scout? <laughs> I is, would hope. Is he still playing the band? That was very expensive. It you better still really wear this <laughs> shirt. Yeah. yeah it's pretty expensive. What did uh, the mom of the of that get out of it? I, I would hope that Cheryl would have gotten out of that a uh, sort of a deeper understanding of her own mother. I mean, that was a big sacrifice that her mother made for her, not mm -hmm. telling her mm -hmm. the whole story about her grandmother's death. Um, so that was uh, sort of a, I think, a really important moment in her relationship with her mom. And then I think her relationship with her daughter, I mean, having, having been a teenage girl and then now mm -hmm. raising one, I think, you know, you, you have sort of these well, you tend patterns, to, you, you know, tend you, to you get close and then things fall sort of back into their, their old mm -hmm. ways. And so I would imagine that she and her daughter would still have their moments <laughs> of disagreement, but they'll remember that, that experience mm -hmm. in the elevator. And I think they'll talk about it, and it'll come up, and it'll maybe help them bridge some of their differences at times. What about the character Sally, Holly? Well, actually, the first thing I was going to say was the the scene was so well perfectly written. It was just that I, I just felt that I fell into it mm -hmm. and hardly had to think. And uh, I think that Sally, I imagine. She had certain things. She she wanted to bring the family together, mm -hmm. and and that did happen. And so I think, and uh, she was she had just turned sixty five. It was mm -hmm. a big birthday for her, and and so she had. I I feel that I came away with a sense of satisfaction and mm -hmm. a good feeling about what had transpired. And I still don't text. <laughs> <laughs> How's the microwave working I still out don't know. And oh, that, that was my favorite line, yeah, actually. It was, the microwave? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I love what you guys brought to the, to the characters because the intent was to have the generational flow and how they kind of, you know, the, the parents and grandparents connecting. And it, it, it fit so well, I, I felt, because I was never married and I've mm -hmm. never had children. And yet, mm -hmm. um, I, was, I, I felt for mm -hmm. my, my daughter and my granddaughter very much. So well, I think you were the one that was giving the advice of, like, you, you've gone through your 60-plus mm -hmm. years, uh, and you, you made your character be 65, just have a birthday, and I remember you, we yeah. talked about that. And... Uh, having a daughter, you want to give them the advice that you've gotten along the way and kind of bring her back to reality to say, you know, you were just like that. <laughs> you remember that when you're talking to her. So it's kind of trying yes. to get those two together. Yes. And, and you're yes. learning a little bit more from that. So I think. Yes. And also, I saw life go by and I didn't want them to do the same. Yes. And that, that's what was. I think, so if there was one message in there of yeah. that scene, that was the that one was I it. wanted to come across. Yeah. That, enjoy the time, enjoy the moment that was because it. life yes. just goes. And by you guys getting trapped in there, it kind of forced that. It, you, were, you were going on your way. You wanted to get because poor Joe was stuck in traffic. Hates traffic. Oh, he's just he's miserable such, to he's be within traffic. He's miserable with period, much less anything. I heard about him. But, um, but no, it was just great to see you guys uh, perform that. It was a really, really fun scene to perform. Yeah, it really yeah. was. So would you come back again and do more shows oh, with us? I wouldn't go that. Okay. <laughs> I'm with Holly on that one. Oh, wow. What about you? I think I'm stuck. Oh, you're stuck. Yeah. You're stuck. But uh, if we did a, a trapped uh, reunion like we did today, we'll maybe have a right one there for you guys. Where are we going to get trapped in next? Oh, you Trapped on an escalator. Trapped on an escalator. No, that would not that would so work. well. Yeah, that would be bad. That would be bad. You get trapped on a Ferris wheel. Ooh. There is. There was a scene we had called the Ferris wheel. There was. There was a scene that, there, that, mm -hmm. that we cut. It was yeah, uh, Heidi and Moro was going to be uh, 
It was Heidi and a lot of three different, different men. Three different yes, guys. It was three the different rotating bald shaped head men, men guys yes. who kept not wanting That's to be on the Ferris wheel with uh, Heidi. So, well, thank you guys so much uh, for coming and uh, reliving Trapped in Consequences. Thank you. Uh, We'll be back next month in which we'll be talking with the cast of uh, Not Mother's Day, uh, something that Katie Shander Reynolds wrote. We and will have Alexa here again. Oh so my. she does have to come back. You are coming back. I. The I am. So the cast of Not Mother's Day will be Trapped. here. And um, we'll talk about uh, the fun that you had with yeah. all of the children working through that scene. Uh, probably how many more dogs did you have? We'll there? get to talk about the dogs again. So that's always good. The dogs will be uh -huh. in. Well, thank you so much for seeing another episode of Behind the Curtain, Ashland Community Theater. So here's what I'm going to do. No, I'm going to do No, I'm going to talk gonna, first. I'm going to know you. Yeah, I am. Oh my God, this is the way it's going to be? She's no, on the show no, for like no. three minutes. So She's on the show for three minutes. I'm going this first. Is, no, but I was thinking this is the promo, right? So I should start talking and then you should interrupt me and say, wait a minute, I'm wait, the wait, host. Okay, all right, That's, that is funny. Right? See, yeah, that could work. He just said I'm funny. Did you get that on film? <laughs> Uh, looks are in everything. But... Seriously, Joseph. Sometimes I have ideas that are worth listening to. I did listen to the whole idea about let's do something this summer. You did. That's right? True. You're, let's thank do you this. for that because that was like one of the best times I've ever had. It was absolutely awesome. I mean, you know, our, our significant others are not too pleased with this, this whole summer.